it is all about preparation seriously no matter how things went wrong it is all about preparation and our experience is that we didn't manage the time well during a very uh, exciting uh, pitching because this is just a four or five minute pitching and we didn't manage to complete in time um yeah we yeah we just need to learn from it yeah of course this is not a happy experience but yeah it's we, we just need to learn from it and next time really preparation 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 is the key for pitching for time management is easy but you need to be really hard working to do rehearsal yeah, sometimes um, when people have been doing a lot of presentation, not just talking about pitching, uh, including all the um, maybe university um, course presentation, they thought that they have mastered the skills of presentation and they thought that they have been familiar with all the contents and all that and then they just skip the rehearsal. They thought that they can take care of it when things come, they just take it. But, but no, for, for pitching or actually for whatever presentation, a rehearsal is very important. You must at least have done it once. Yeah. No matter how lazy you are, at least if you care about that presentation, at least do the uh, rehearsal once. So, um, and I think this already kind of settled the time management issue already. Because you can feel the time pressure. Okay, when you talk about this point, it is already beep beep beep, time's up. Then you know how to adjust your pace. Pitching is um, something that um, only takes a very short period of time and it is the um, uh, task to see how familiar you are with all the contents, your business, your ideas and all that. So again, yeah, preparation is the king. After you have rehearsal, completed the rehearsal. So if you have business plan or have advisors or have good mates, so challenge, uh, just um, challenge the, um, the project like uh, the witnesses or if you have a third party if you are one of the key stakeholders in the field so what will you care about so you keep asking questions asking questions so uh, you will understand okay oh well this question okay it's quite difficult to quite difficult to answer so you prepare it and the second part second tip is that you actually know your witness actually everyone knows our own witness but just that whether you want to admit it you want to address it so you really need to list all the, the witnesses out and see if it is something that you can handle, um, something that you can avoid, something that you can improve. So if you think that witness is very critical to your uh, business proposal's success, you should have put in your presentation rather than wait until being asked in Q&A session. Because if you're being asked in Q&A session, it's like you want to hide it, but you don't want to admit it. So usually our strategy will, will put that witness, very obvious witness, during our presentation and leave those very easy to answer questions to the Q&A part. So you, you find that uh, the pressure will be lower a lot because it is all, all the questions you can predict actually. And the last tip is that go to um, uh, be the audience of different pitching competitions. You will observe that actually most of the questions are quite similar, but just that it applies to different business model and uh, industry, but actually the, the essence are the same. Yeah, so more observation and everyone can learn on the go. The most memorable one is uh, a recent one. Um, Previously, we thought that the four minute um, pitching is already the, the one that um, makes us feel quite memorable. But there is another one recently, it is through um, video conference. So all the judges are not really physically in front of you. Um, you, have, you need to watch it, uh, look at the screens. And this is another challenge because there's time delay. But at the same time, it has time limit to your presentation. And what What's more challenging is that the, the PowerPoint, the slides is not controlled by you, it's controlled by the judges on the other end. So uh, the time management is, uh, is the key. You need to have buffer uh, for your pitching. And second is you, because they are not, the judges are not physically in front of you, you need to um, master how you can engage them. And you need to observe their reactions while you are presenting as well and then kind of um, prepare for the FAQ or, or the Q&A session afterward. So I think that is a memorable one and it is more challenging than you seeing those judges physically in front of you.